Let's start things out with some good news for the people in Washington, D.C. in response to the ongoing delays plaguing Metro as they inspect and repair their 7000 series trains. Capital Bike Share has announced that starting today, all D.C. residents are eligible for a free one month membership to their shared bike program. Hey, you had me at free. You know how we do. It's time to get in shape. I will suffer and sacrifice if you give me something for free. As somebody who has ridden a bike in D.C. before, though, I do need to issue you a warning. This city got more hills than you think. I'm just saying, prepare to be humbled. There is no shame in stopping mid-ride and taking a break. Okay, there's a little bit of shame, but you got to do what you got to do to get where you're going. So what I'm going to do is get on Capital Bike Share's electric bikes. Now, they aren't free like the regular ones, but they are discounted at 10 cents a minute for the next month. That is a great deal if you're trying not to break a sweat, a hip, or a bunion. Let technology handle those hills for you. Now, I chose this next story from Capitol Hill because the hits keep coming for Dan Snyder and his crew in Ashburn. Delegate Eleanor Holmes Norton said the House Oversight Committee has launched an investigation into the NFL's handling of misconduct allegations made against the Washington football team, and the committee is very likely to hold hearings. And you do say that it is likely that your committee or the, or the subcommittee will hold hearings on this matter. It's very likely that we will do, uh, hold a hearing. It shows you the importance of what we have learned that we have announced an investigation even before the hearing itself has been announced. Can we hold a hearing on what happened yesterday against the Green Bay Packers? Or maybe how about the parking situation at FedEx? There's two other hearings we need to have. Now, I've never heard of a pro sports team run so badly the government has to get involved. I would ask them to use eminent domain to seize the team from Dan Snyder, but legislators are just as inefficient as he is. Now, I am glad that this is going to Congress for the simple fact that I want them to spill every drop of tea, leak all the emails, be messy for justice. We need to know the details about what's going on in Ashburn because the NFL can't be trusted to investigate themselves. Let's hope subpoenas and the threat of perjury are enough to get everything out in the open. Now, unfortunately, I have no faith. You know why? Because the coach of my team is Riverboat Ron, not Bellagio Ron, not MGM Ron, not Investments Ron, not even Crypto Ron. We have all the luck of a man in a Riverboat casino waiting for his free watered down rail vodka and cranberry. Also, because I've seen all of you guys at work. Now, finally, I chose this story because I know how much we all care about the Prince George's County zebras on the loose. Yes, it's been a long track. We have the mugshot of Jerry Holly, the owner of the farm that the zebras escapes from. Now, years ago, he was convicted of illegal possession of wildlife in Florida. Now here in Maryland, Holly is facing animal cruelty charges involving the deaths of two of his zebras. So this is Mo Exotic? I'll be honest, I'm disappointed because because Tiger King spoiled us. I expect all exotic animal traders to look like caricatures of actual people. This dude looks like a retiree from a government job. This is what you spent your pension on, Jerry? Zebras? Now, it is fitting that he's wearing stripes. You can tell by the look on his face that he never thought this day would come. Jerry's about to become part of the general population dazzle. This woman, hoping to catch a glimpse of the zebras when the farm got raided, said it best. It looks like somebody's in some big trouble. Big trouble indeed. I hope Jerry learned the law of the jungle while he was collecting zebras, because he's going to need it. But it doesn't look like from that expression. Now, if you're, if you're following around at home, first we found out about the zebras. It was five of them. Then two of them came back. Then one got caught in a snare trap. Then one is pregnant. Now we see what Mo Exotic looks like. I'm telling you, Young and the Restless got absolutely nothing on the PG zebras. 